If you have a different colored pen, you might want to go over your corrections instead of erasing. So this construction here, notice how they started here, moved their pencil there, and they created this arc. Well, if you do that to the other side, going instead of A, now going to B. Create an arc right there. There's your hint, X marks the spot. So go ahead and draw this one. From this picture we did in class, you'll recognize that you're forming a perpendicular lines. And in this case, in this case only, they're also congruent. This one's called a perpendicular bisector. The second one, notice how they started here, or now here to B. They drew an arc there, going down to C and doing the same thing. Putting the point there. So you are having these two segments here are congruent. So this one's called copying a segment, or duplicating a segment. Number three, uh, notice how you have a point off the line. From there, I'm going to measure the arc they already drew. So they already done some steps for me. So they went that direction. And then they went down here and drew this one too. So all you have to do is go here to this intersection right here. Draw an arc. And X marks the spot, so go through that. And this is called constructing a perpendicular through a point. Class, where was that point? On or off? Off the line. Number four, you have these two right here. So my recommendation is just going through the clues they've given you. So I just open up my compass to whatever they've already drawn. So I've noticed they have this arc right here. And then they drew this other arc right here. And then you move right here to this intersection. putting a point there so you can see where I'm going. And then you hear uh, you're measuring the angle. So that, there I'm opening or closing my compass. To do that then I come down here and I make this arc. Now a student asked me a question, Mr. Ng, you go to every single quiz and you actually measured them? Yes, I do. I do take that time for my students to give you that feedback to show that you're learning. Okay? Let's go through here. X marks a spot. So that one's called copying an angle. Uh, you didn't have to do this one. Uh, and the bottom one down here, I've already created an angle. And you'll know that you're not copying an angle because you already have one right here. So go through there, mimic what's already there. So now I'm just going to go to my points of intersection up here, make an arc, go down to this one. Make an arc. X marks a spot. Class, what is that one? So bisect an angle. Cut an angle in half.
and those symbols now we have congruent.